thing. Glory to Jesus. I think that ju just the children will resolve the problems. We don't need we need the we don't we don't need the pastor. They have already preached. They've done everything from the beginning to the end. Just uh, get the blessing and go home. The children took care of everything. What a blessing. Amen. Peace and love to all. For those who are following us through Zoom, peace and Lord. Let's uh, stand up, please. And we're going to open our, our Bibles in Joshua. Joshua 1. Joshua chapter 2. Verse 9. Amen. Joshua 2, verse 9. And said, And said to the man, Know that the Lord has given you the land, that the terror of you has fallen on us, and that all the inhabitants of the land are faint heart because of you. For we have heard how Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when you came out of Egypt, and what you what you did to the two kings of Amortis who were on the other side of the Jordan, Sihon and Og, who were utterly destroyed. And as soon as you, as soon as we heard these things, our hearts melted, neither did they remain any more courage in any because of for you, for the Lord your God, he is, in, he is in God in heavens above the earth and beneath. Now therefore, now therefore, I beg you swear to me by the Lord, since I have shown the, you kindness, that you also shown kindness to my father's house and to give me through token. And I spare my father, my mother, my brothers, my sisters, and that all I have, and deliver our lives from death. So the man answered her, our lives for yours, if none of you tell this business of ours. And it shall be when Lord has given us the land that will deal kindly and truly with you. Then she let them down by the rope through the window, for the house was on the city wall. She dwelt on the wall. And she said to them, Go to the mountain, lest the pursuers meet you. Hide the, hide the three days until the pursuers have returned. Afterwards, you might go your way. So the man said to her, We will be blameless of this oath of your which you have made us swear. Unless we come into the land, you bind this line of escalate cord in the window through which you let us down and unless you bring your father your mother and your brother and all your father's household to you, your own home so it shall be that whoever goes outside the doors of your house into the street his blood shall be on his own head and he will be guiltless and whoever is with you and house his shall be on our head. And if it's a business, then they departed and went to the mountain and stayed there three days until pursuers returned. The pursuers sought them along the way, but did not fight them. Brethren, we saw here another moment. Another important moment in uh, Joshua's life, a moment where they were about to cross Jordan and to take possession, to put the foot, put the foot in the promised land. Mm. 
they take two men, two soldiers, two brave men, and then then he sent them to Jericho to observe to observe what was going on. Certainly, the weakness points, the walls, the most vulnerable places, so they can uh, so they can go from there to, to plan a strategy for the invasion of Jericho. Joshua had no idea what was in uh, God's mind. For him, the man, a, a warrior, was with a sword in hand and invade. He was prepared for that. In his mind, in his head, the thing was like, let's kill everyone with no plan. And now he sent this man to do a search around to find out the weakness points of Jericho City, which were, were very surrounded, very surrounded by, by walls, big walls. That car, that cars could drive upon the, upon the walls. That's, it was big, it was wide. It was not. You couldn't cross it, humanly speaking. And now this man, they go in. Let's go spy them. Bam. But the first trouble was, a, was a. What does he have in mind? What does Joshua have in mind? Just send them, send them again. After 38 years, 12 went, and 10 came back with the weird place. So, we, so we, st we stayed 40 years walking, and now Joshua sends two spies to to bring the news, to bring the information, to bring how the city was, how everything was. There's two men, there's two men going in the house, and a woman called Hab. She had a, a house, some some weird place. She her, her way of uh, making money, making a living was you know illegal. And they go in there, and they go in that place. This place is a small place. We're gonna go there. Let's not call a lot of attention. It's the city that Joshua was ready. The city knew that Joshua was ready. So they, when the two guys go into the house of this lady, Ha, huh, immediately the news, the news went straight to the palace to the king. There's two men in the house of Ha. Go over there. Yes, to give him the, and they go to Rahab house, and Rahab, uh, Rahab, Rahab just uh, talks to them like she knew nothing. Like the soldiers went to ask her, and she uh, told them that they, she didn't know anything, and, and and she knew she knew that they were running into danger. And she. She hidden them in the house, underneath, underneath the, uh, underneath bunch of stuff, uh, materials. So she hidden them over there. The soldiers went to Rahab house and and they left because she told them they were not there. And now when the soldiers left, Rahab called them. And they see that how, how God does the thing, the history. It's, a, it's a good to hear history. But the history is not everything. It's important to go the prophetic, which is the God's willing to demand life. Rahab, when she when she meets the two guys again after the soldiers left, 
she starts speak, speaking with, to them. Look, the situation is everyone is afraid. Everyone is scared. No, there's no more peace. There's everyone is waiting for the worst. Why? Because the news we hear that the God, your God, the God of Israel, the God of Hebrews, is the God, the same God in heaven and the same God in, in the land. Is a God that we hear, that we heard that opened the Red Sea and that gave you food, everything that the history shows. That, that's, that's the, the information had already arrived in Jericho. And Rahab, uh, Rahab, we see the description, what it is, what, what it is, the two, two words, faith. We see in Rahab's life, what is faith? What is faith? We spoke about it last week. Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11 speaks about that. Speaks about faith. The, f the faith is the firm fundamental of the things that, that Rahab, she never, never seen the God of Israel. She had never seen the God of Israel. She had never had experience with our God, with the God of Hebrews. But she had heard of it. But by by just listening and by just hearing about it, she started to believe. By just hearing the things of God, she started to wait for the blessings of the Lord. Rahab, when she saw of the God of Hebrews as the one that was with them, that was giving them victory, that was feeding the people in the desert, giving them water, guiding them, conducting them all this time, she more than fast start to believe it and she started to wait she didn't see it but she waited that's faith In immediately she started to to enter in the project of god why because the project of god it was one the project of joshua was a different one but when these two men went in, went in there, when they were sent by Joshua, certainly by the direction of the God, for everything that the God was conducting Joshua to do it, for his definition, Rahab now to start start to believe in God and wait for blessing of Lord. Faith is that, brethren. The faith does that. The truly faith, the genuine faith, generate us a change. The faith, when it comes from God, it enters your heart and generates an action, an action, an attitude. Rahab could have said, "Hey, King, hey, the men's are here. They're up there. They're up. They're up there." She could have said that. Rahab could have. Why did she change her entire life in a, in a, fort, in, in a strong city? Although, although her situation was a little bit different, her work, she was, you know, she was rejected. She was, that was her life. Although, although she had all that, nobody would bother her. Although her, her lifestyle, that was her life. She depended on that. She depended on the city, on the population, on everything. But when she heard about, when she saw the two men came in, coming into the house, then she said, right there, that's what I want for my life, for me. I'm going to give everything away. I'm going to give away my life, which is, which is a different life. I'm going to go in, enter in this project now. I'm going to get out of my time and get in, into the God's time. The faith, the genuine faith needs to bring a change in the heart. Faith is this. 
Faith is not just belief in God, to speak about God, to have a Bible in your hand, to preach the gospel. No, that's not faith. Faith, faith is too deep. Is to dive. Is to dive into God. Is to start to live the way God wants you to live. You want ex you want an example? We are all here. We are all here. We are all here listening. Julia's playing. We are all here. If anybody says, watch out for the bomb, what happens? Ev everybody will run. That's right. Watch the bomb. Not one person here will stay here. No one, per no one will stay here. Not even to turn the light off. We are going to run, for sure. Faith is, you. Faith is for you to act. Faith is you to take a position for your salvation. Faith is f you to run, run from the difficulties, from the trials, from the dangers. That's faith. Faith needs to generate a new life in a man. The Holy Spirit helps you to do that. You want to see another another example? You want to see another example? We are all here, and you go to a place a place where you don't know anything and then the chairs you go to a place five people sitting in the bench there's only one place there's only one place for you to sit besides those five people this bench this bench was built to support certain weight so far is okay so so far you believe that that bench will support one more person, one more weight. Is that faith? No. You know what faith is? It's, it's when you go and you sit. When you sit over there, now you, now you let, now you, you let, now you, now you let that certain, that, that was made to support that weight. It's when you move. Faith is when you move. It's when you leave your your comfort zone. And when you when you start to believe, to leave what you expect. That's faith. And Rahab, when she saw the opportunity, the two men coming in, the spies coming, she embraced them. She didn't know what was going to happen. She did not know what was going to happen. She had no idea that Jericho could be destroyed. But she had heard about the God of Hebrews, the God of Israel, and she embraced that moment. God, this is what I want. I want this God that's the same in the heaven that's in the land. That's the God I want for me. I want to enter it. I want to leave everything behind and leave for that. And she did that. And then she said, Jordan, now that I helped you, and she told the two guys, now that I helped you, I want you that in the moment, in the vision, that you promised me that you're going to save me. That's what she did, isn't that? Mm. family. That's what she said. She didn't think about herself only. She thought about her family. I, would, I want you to promise me that, sh that you give me a sign, a right sign. I want a right sign. Why a right sign? Because, because she was used to hear many things, many promises, everything that uh, Imagine her situation, her work, her life. How many things she had heard, from the, from the way she, l the way she lived. Now, no, she wants a correct thing. Don't come with this. Don't come with this. This talk. I want a certain. I want something certain. And they said. 
as long as you as long as you maintain your word as long as you maintain your word our our agreement you could be you could be we can you could be okay no worries we guarantee you that now you're going to put a sign in your window a scarlet That's going to be the sign. And whoever is in there, inside the house, when we see the cord, the scarlet cord, the red, you're going to have the certain that everything's, everyone's going to be safe. Now, don't let anybody get out of your house. Your blood will be upon your head. You see that? What does that mean to us? All of us together. A body. The salvation is lived in a body. Salvation is lived in the mo among the church. We can't just go out there. We can't let the people, the youngs, the ladies, the husbands, our church, we can't let anybody in this moment that we lived where the enemy is there, giving everything, opening, everything is, a, is, is, a, is available, offering, giving offers. We cannot go. We have to be inside, kept. That's the body. That's, that's live in this communion where the Lord is operating. This is leave where God is operating the, the work. It's here where God is speaking to us, not out there. Rahab, don't let anybody go out there. Maintain everyone in your house. The day of the invasion of the battle, stay everyone inside the house. Brethren, we'll leave this moment. The church leaves that moment right now. That's why us parents we have to fight for our for our children Rahab said save me my father my family my house that's the word that we have to have that's the concern we have to have for that salvation of the God reach our family everyone that's around us surround us too everyone that's surrounded with the same wish that the Lord can reach all of us. The scarlet string. Perfect. What represents? The sacrifice of Jesus in the cross, a Calvary cross. And for them, for him, for him to, for, for, for him to have died for us is the price of our salvation. Only Jesus could have done what he did that day, only Rahab, only Rahab through that sign, that certain sign, the only sign, the only form of Rahab to be preserved was through the blood of Jesus. In the moment of, the moment we leave, only the blood of Jesus can guarantee us in the certainty that we are in the right way. Brethren, that's the Rahab story. Yeah, that's a that's the story, uh, full of details, full of uh, important points to the history, points, important points for us too, for the life of the church, for us that we're here fighting for our salvation, fighting for our salvation, for the salvation of our children, for our wives, for our husbands. We are, yes, we fight, we're concerned. We don't want only the salvation, the blessing for us, that's why it's important this moment, a moment to keep to keep the promise of the Lord, so they can faith, so the faith, the genuine faith, can generate us, generate in us this desire to change, this desire to change, to for 
for what I've done that has not pleased the Holy Spirit so that faith can make all of us that are here tonight that we can have a position we can take a position the eternal way probably this has been your failure your your fight tell Jesus Lord this is where I I can't take anymore this is where the enemy has been has been winning but tonight Lord that you can that, that I can give my victory my weakness and that the faith and the genuine faith can take a, a position for the blessing of your Lord it, it speaks about Rahab who knows who can tell what happened to Rahab from that moment on huh nobody Matthew, Matthew 1. Matthew 1. Matthew 1. Open that Bible on there. Verse 5. Some begot Boaz by Rahab. Boaz begot Obed by Ruth. Obed begot Jesse. And Jesse begot David the king. The first verse. The book of genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. A woman like Rahab be part, part of the genealogy of Jesus. Rahab was rescued. She married this man, Saul, who was a Hebrew. And then Rahab started to live the blessing of God, kept and now today she the Bible talks about if you start if you continue to read and to reach Jesus there's, an, there's, there's another verse that talks about Rahab that talks sure. Hebrews Hebrews 11 Hebrews 11 verse 31 By the faith, by the faith of Herod, Rahab did not perish with those who did not believe when she had received the spies with peace. Chapter 11 of Hebrews talks about the faith. By the faith, Abel. By faith, Enoch. By faith, by Noah. Abraham. He continues to talk. All those men, brethren, personalities of the Bible that demonstrate the faith. That lived by the faith. And the Bible says one more time about Rahab the person the character of Rahab needs to bring to us a lot of blessings because sometimes Rahab represents all the, the she lived the she lived the legal life but when she had the opportunity when she knew the true God the God of Israel the God that reached our hearts she embraced it and she, and she took possession. She let the faith live in her life. And many times we ask, why did God save Rahab? Because God saves. We A lot of times we want God to save who we want. God 
saves, saves us all. God saves all, independently of your position or what, what you are or what you uh, have been. But at the moment that you embrace your opportunity, your call, what God given, has given you, you became what? You became something that was operated by God. You became a life, a redeemed life in the blood of Jesus. You were somebody that was humiliated, reject a person to be a person that's loved. Why? Because the blood of Jesus is the one that frees us, that forgives our sins and makes us find a way. Rahab, she needed to be in us this example of changing of life, just changing of attitude. Lord, I want to be better. I need to be better. Yes, that's what you want. So let the faith operate in your life. Don't limit the operation of this Holy Spirit. Do not, do not stop what God wants to do in your life. Open your heart and let God operate. Amen, brethren.
never word of uh, glorification because our God is the one that does not look for what we do. He does not judge us. He looks what we want, what we are available for, our willing to serve him, our faith in Jesus. A glory of you. We bless your name, our mother. We recognize that we are like this. We operate, we operate what was not glorifying your name. But you, one day you gave us a grace. That uh, takes the. We are live. Like a server in the past had the opportunity. For the faith, Lord. Many here that heard your word. That this mystery is for them today. The salvation of our hearts. Because your word is life. Because there's because nothing for glorifying you because this, life, this God is life. And it's rain in our lives. Let's be the name of the Lord.
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord. Holy, holy, holy is your name. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Dear Lord, we want now to bless your name for our call, Lord, for that day, oh Lord, that we met you, Lord. For the first time we heard your voice and feel the touch of your spirit to glorify your name because that day marked our lives and that was the right sign that we were under your grace. We want to glorify <coughs> your name, O oh Lord, because you are our God. There's not another one. There's never going to be another one. That's why we glorify you, Lord, because what we have the most is the salvation of Jesus. Everything that's left for us is the salvation of Jesus. So that's why help us to overcome our, our battles, to be firm, to be strong, defining you. Don't let us look on the side. Don't let us be downward, that your hands can conduct us. Your sweet hands can take us and take us to the right <coughs> way, which is Jesus. And now, especially, we uh, plead for your, for your people, our, our brethren, they are, they are sick, some with the flu, with the cold, with the pandemic, some other diseases that we don't know, some health conditions. We ask that you can send your angels a cure for our brethren. Go to their houses and operate, operate a miracle, a cure tonight, Lord, and that we can all be together in this place to bless your name, to glorify your name, glorify your name in our lives, O oh Lord, and give us a week of a victorious week in your presence, O oh Lord. Receive our service in your name. It's the prayer we do and then thankful in the name of Jesus. Amen. In your name we say the grace, the wonderful grace of our Jesus salvation. Savior Jesus, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet consolations of the Holy Spirit are poured upon us for now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. The Lord uh, was given a gift. And that's within the, 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 the gift was what was, pre was preached. We have to fight for our salvation. This includes to take away, to take a position new before the Lord and fight for the salvation of our family. That's the wish of God that all of us can be called one day. Amen? That was the gift that the Lord gave us. This is the message from the Lord. Salvation is not only for us. It's for our family members too. So, so they need to see on us a change, a position. And the faith does that. Only the faith. You cannot be here every week. You can be everything. You can be everything in the church. Nothing that's valid. What's going to show it's you to let the faith of Jesus change your life. The peace of the Lord. Tuesday, we'll have a service at 8 o'clock. We'll uh, a doctrine service Tuesday. The brethren that can come, we uh, welcome you Tuesday. Peace of the Lord. The brethren of the Zoom, they can open the microphone. The deacons and workers that can help the, the brethren in the Zoom. Peace of the Lord.
Praise the Lord, Steve. Praise the Lord, Wayne. Praise the Lord, Cameron. from the I'm going to have a small meeting with the those who are here 